for all his fame and celebration. Mystery of Shakespeare. For all his fame and celebration, William Shakespeare remains a mysterious figure with regards to personal history. There are just two primary sources for information on the Bard, his works and various legal and church documents that have survived from Elizabethan times. Naturally, there are many gaps in this body of information, which tells us little about Shakespeare, the man. Lawrence Stephen Lowry. Lawrence Stephen Lowry, RBS, RA, was an English artist. Many of his drawings and paintings depict Penn Libery, Lancashire, where he lived and worked for more than 40 years, and also Salford and its surrounding areas. Lowry is famous for painting scenes of life in the industrial districts of Northwest England in the mid 20th century. He developed a distinctive style of painting and is best known for his urban landscapes peopled with human figures often referred to as matchstick man. He painted mysterious unpopulated landscapes, brooding portraits, and the unpublished marionette works, which were only found after his death. Animals. In animals, a movement is coordinated by a cluster of neurons in the spinal cord called the central patterns generator, CPG, produces signals that drive muscles to contract rhythmically in a way that produces running or walking, depending on the pattern of pulses. A simple signal from the brain instructs the CPG to switch between different modes, such as going from a standstill to walking. CEO. That brings us to the CEO's second duty, building everyone, or more accurately, building the senior team. All the executives report to the CEO, so it's the CEO's job to hire, fire, and manage the executive team. From coaching CEOs, I actually think this is the most important skill of all, because when a CEO hires an excellent senior team, that team can keep the company running. When a CEO hire a poor senior team, the CEO is up spending all of their time trying to do with the team and not nearly enough time trying to do with other elements of their job. The senior team can, and often does, develop the strategy for the company. But ultimately, it's always the CEO who has the final go, no go decision on strategy. Bored in class. A majority of US high school students say they get bored in class every day, and more than one out of five have considered dropping out, according to a survey released on Wednesday. The survey of 81,000 students in 26 states found two thirds of high school students complain of boredom, usually because the subject matter was irrelevant or their teachers didn't seem to care about them. Barcode scanners. Many different types of barcode scanning machines exist, but they all work on the same fundamental principles, 
They all use the intensity of light reflected from a series of black and white stripes to tell a computer what code it is seeing. White stripes reflect light very well, while black stripes reflect hardly any light at all. The barcode scanner shines light sequentially across the barcode, simultaneously detecting and recording the pattern of reflected and non-reflected light. The scanner then translates this pattern into an electrical signal that the computer can understand. All scanners must include computer software to interpret the barcode once it's been entered. This simple principle has transformed the way we are able to manipulate data and the way in which many businesses handle record keeping. Integrated ticket. Well, in 2004, we integrated ticketing in Southeast Queensland. So we have introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in Southeast Queensland. So bus, train, and ferry. And the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card. And the smart card will enable people to store value, so to put value on the card and then to use the card for traveling around the system. Neo-Latin. Those of you who've never heard the term Neo-Latin may be forgiven for thinking it's a new South American dance craze. If you're puzzled when I tell you it has something to do with the language of Romans, take heart. Over the years, many classes who have confessed they are not really sure what it is either. Some have assumed that they are so-called late Latin, written at the end of the Roman Empire. Others have supposed it must have something to do with the Middle Ages. Or perhaps it's that pseudo-Latin which my five and seven-year-old boys seem to have gleaned from the Harry Potter books useful for spells and curses that they zip one another with makeshift paper ash ones. No, in fact, Neo-Latin is more or less the same as the Latin that was written in the ancient world, classical Latin. So, what's so new about it? traffic jam. For the first time, Japanese researchers have conducted a real-life experiment that shows how some traffic jams appear for no apparent reason. They placed the 22 vehicles on a single track and asked the drivers to cruise around at a constant speed of 30 kilometers an hour. At first, traffic moved smoothly, but soon the distance between cars started to vary and vehicles clumped together at one point on the track, but the jam spread backward around the track like a shockwave at a rate of about 20. At first, traffic moves smoothly, but soon the distance between cars started to vary and vehicles clumped together at one point on the track, but the jam spread backward around the track like a shockwave at a rate of about 20 kilometers an hour. Real life jams move backward at about the same speed. And thought. Now that story's been scotched as only part of contingency planning, but it was a symptom of, of the dramatic turns of a turn of events in South Australia, and it flushed out other remarks from water academics and people like Tim Flannery, indicating that things were really much worse than had been foreshadowed even earlier this year. So is Adelaide, let alone some whole regions of South Australia, in serious bother, considering that the vast majority of its drinking water comes from the beleaguered Murray, something many of us outside the state may not have quite realised. Is their predicament something we have to face up to as a nation?